Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to day five of learning StarCraft from scratch. My name is Jack Attack, and I have switched from a left hand to a right hand mouse in order to feel the feels of the noob. And I've also switched to a brand new hotkey layout, the sixth version of the core. And I'm learning mechanics in the way that I think it's best to learn mechanics for StarCraft II. Uh, and so if that's interesting to you, if you want to learn mechanics quickly, even though it might be boring or difficult or require a lot of focus, then, um, yeah, then this is, this is the video series for you. This is day five. I haven't decided if I'm going to cut up that big team game day into multiple videos yet. So it could be video 37. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, just start the game, do a little rewind, get ready to take command. All right. <coughs> I'm going to mentally review the build order uh, before I actually execute it here um, so I can kind of get it fresh in my mind. We're going to hold the worker button, click the worker, send out the overlord um, generally. And this map, we're going to send out the overlord uh, here-ish. There's a little overlord spot over here. Um, and then we're going to shift click here and here. I'm actually not sure which one we have to do first. It's different for each map. Sometimes it doesn't matter, sometimes it does. Shift click the first two workers back to here and here, and that will, that should. Oh, this is a closer one. Okay, so the four close patches in this. Oh, you can double click. Good to know. The four, if you, you can just double click. These are the four close patches. They have more minerals. So the four close patches are here. So you wanna pair on these four first. So this is one of the very few maps where the mineral pattern is such that doing the normal split that we do isn't going to work perfectly. But we're just kind of going to, kind of, kind of going to go for it. Those are words. Okay, and what is after that? Maybe I shouldn't go through the build order. Um, what is after that? Then we uh, set the first camera and the first control group. And build the next drone, or build the next drone, set the first camera to the first control group as it comes up. The second drone that we build is going to go here, because it's closest to the larva. And that drone is going to do an extractor trick. Build the extractor, build the next drone. While we're waiting for this drone to finish, however, we are going to get 100 minerals. When we do that, we're going to build an overlord. And that overlord is going to go going to be in position to scout the main. So probably, let's say here, up to here to check for any potential, maybe here, and then cut across. We want to kind of time it out so we can scout as much potential proxy starport type locations, or proxy stargate, etc. as possible. ZVZ overlord placement's a little bit different, but second overlord is going to scout this direction cut across and then it should be arriving here around four minutes so it can go scout the main with overlord speed. Um, and then we, right after the overlord gets uh, shift queued rallied in the minimap, because it doesn't have to be that specific, we will um, do the extractor trick and then we're waiting. Uh, we're waiting for this drone to pop out and this drone that pops out goes here for the expansion. When the overlord pops, the overlord and the drone, the second overlord and the drone kind of pop at the same time. And that's when we build two drones here. And the drone that's gets uh, rallied over here into the natural. While that's happening, we have a decent chunk of time or waiting for 300 minerals for the expansion. And so while that's happening, we go ahead and set all of our cameras. And let's plan that out here. We're gonna go one, two, three. Um, this is kind of a tricky one to defend. Hmm. I almost feel like we should get this a little bit later. Thinking about this base is kind of nice. I think this is our fourth base. I think it's one, two, three, four. Maybe... Five, six, seven? Do we just ignore this base completely? I don't know. 
I don't know. We might. Should have watched a pro game. Let's see how close I can get to the <laughs> the established version. One, two, three, uh, four. Let's do five, six, seven, eight. We'll just do it that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those will be our eight cameras. Really only end up using seven most of the time. Really four, to be honest. It drops off pretty hard after four. Okay, so then we set up our, all of our cameras. Our cameras get all set up, and we build the expansion here. At that point in time, come on, brain. All right, as soon as the expansion starts building, we build a drone. We, we don't even look back. We don't really have time. We need to build that drone as soon as possible. We want our timings to be tight. And then we can add this to the control group and recenter the camera and then build another drone. And then we can set the rally and then we can come back over here. This will give us time to uh, set the rallies of those two drones we just made. The first one goes here to build the gas. The second one goes here to build the spawning pool in most situations. The reason why you build the spawning pool here is because the queen can go here. In ZVZ situations, when they try to come in, all the zerglings will get stuck right here from the AI. And the queen that's right here and the spawning pool that's right here build a little wall. It's not a solid wall, so they won't be smart enough to go all the way around. They'll just get bottleneck there. And that usually gives you enough time for your defensive force to come back and save your drones. And um, that's basically it for the 17, 18, 17. And we get our third at 2.30, says the build order. I think we get our third at like three minutes. I think we get our third at three minutes. Oh, I forgot. The thing that we added yesterday, the thing that we added yesterday is taking the workers off of gas when we get 100, mineral, 100 gas. So we have to do that. That's going to be pretty important. That's going to be pretty important. Where was I? So we get our third around three minutes. Uh, we put workers back into the gas at 2.45. Roach warrant overlord speed at 3.30. That's pretty much as far as we got yesterday. After that, double gas at 4 minutes. Laren Evo is at 4.30. All gas is 5.30. Fourth at 6 minutes. And then we Roach Ravager until we're maxed. That's the whole build. That's it. We're just trying. We're just trying to get a maxed out army as quickly as possible. Because in StarCraft and StarCraft II, the most powerful power of all the powers is the power of macro. If you can make a ton of stuff, it doesn't matter if you have the strategic capabilities of a wet sponge, which are not very many. You'll still win. You can just smash them with way more stuff than they can ever deal with. And once you know how to macro, then you can start supplementing that power by making intelligent strategic decisions and tactical decisions, etc. The macro becomes a part of you, becomes an automatic response, automatic system, and then you're good to go. All right, so that's the build. That's what we're trying to do. We will fuck it up. <laughs> We will try hard not to. Let's go. Time to set our cameras up. Get back. Huh. 
Oh man. <laughs> Setting up the cameras is definitely the hardest part. Now we're looking for triples. We should have no triples here, but we do have a triple. Now we're all doubles. Two per patch, two per patch. Three onto the gas. The next is an overlord. And for me, this overlord, I like to put in a spot where I can scout the third base. And now is a little waiting period. Take a breath. The minerals will, will go up. Don't worry about it too much. We're going to build the queens and then lings. As soon as the hatch finishes, which will be very soon. Add the links to the control group and pull off gas. Whoops. And then back to drones. We're just holding the draw. Oh, uh, Overlord next. Overlord next. Never know where to put this guy. Oh shit, I didn't set the rallies. Third queen and third base. Oh shit. Um, right after the first inject, uh, we have to put back, we have to make workers to put them in gas. That's a lot. All right, so you'll find this happens in build orders, um, whatever race you play. There's some moments in the early build order where you have to do a whole bunch of stuff that just all kind of lines up at the same time, and then you have moments where you're not really doing anything. So I just found one, found a cluster here. We're going to have to... Build workers to put in gas after the first inject pops finishes off. Right? No, I think right after the first inject, because two minutes forty five seconds we have to put back in gas. So so that we have enough gas to get overlord speed so that by the time this guy hits here, he gets overlord speed and then he can scout everything relatively safely and make sure he can see everything. That's our creep queen. Um Cool. Not bad for the first time. Not bad. Rewind. And repetition is the path to mastery. We do it again. Set the rest of our cameras. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Recenter, back to main, rally out. A little sloppy, but we're kind of getting everything more or less in the right order. Rally these into gas. We can actually rally here for a second. Next is the Overlord. Put, I think, here to check the third. And now we have the waiting time. Yeah. 
So two queens, lings, pull off gas, speed. Here we go. And then drones. Not bad. Overlord on 30. 15 seconds, we're going into gas. We're building workers that go into gas in 15 seconds. Yeah, so I think now, before, right before the first inject. Did we get an overlord? Did we get an overlord? No. I don't think that overlord's gonna be on time. Oh, and we didn't get the third queen either. Because the overlord's not on time. Ah. Okay. So, cool thing about rewinding is we can kind of take a closer look and see what order things are supposed to be going down in. Hmm. Okay. So. Oh, we just didn't build the 30 overlord. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, cool. So for 30 overlord, we'll build the overlord here. So that way the three drones that we put into gas. So we put into gas right after the 30 overlord. That's what happened. So it's 30 overlord. Workers, uh, 30 overlord at the natural. Workers from here into the gas. Three workers from here into the gas right after the 30 overlord. Um, and then... Inject. Inject is kind of somewhere around that area. Okay, 30 overlord back into gas. That's what it is. And I think we can queue up the third queen. I'm pretty sure we have enough money for it. Yeah. I'll have to wait for that second waiting period to set the rest of the cameras. Dude, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the YouTube recording. You are now immortalized. Okay, so I'll set those rest the rest of those cameras. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
Vex. Shit. Six. Oh, God. Oh, what a disaster. <laughs> <sighs> okay, while well, we're here, we're just going to go through this sequence. It's very annoying. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Again. One, two, three. Ah, uh, I want to make it better. Hello, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Learning Hotkeys. We're still at day five. I don't know what video we're on, but we're certainly on day five. And we're getting the Roach Max build down. Let's actually get the build order up on the other monitor. Take a look at it. And we begin again. Start. Uh, half an inch. Yeah, we'll be doing team games. I'm gonna wait for the team gamers to arrive, as it were. But until then, I will just I'll practice until we have uh, the team game folk ready to go. Okay. Lost my shift key there. I was like, where's shift? Luckily, we spawn on the other side this time, so we get to practice the other side. All right. Now. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Set up the buildings. And drones. To go in here. One more drone. Third base. No drones, no drones. That was close. A little lull here. Now we do the overlord, and then we, then we, I think we're actually putting back in gas now. Yeah, we are. Oh, 
Okay, they automatically go in. That's good. Drones. Whoops, that should have been an overlord and then drones. Whatever, overlord. Ah! Ah. Uh, Roach Warren. Overlord speed somewhere. Third. Third. More drones. Ah! Swarm so many things to do. Uh, Roach Warren. Okay, we're way off. button down. Set cameras right. Come back to the inside afterwards. Okay, we're good. Oh, it's a drone. No. Built an extra drone. Maybe restarting a little bit too often. Sometimes I get a little bit overzealous about the accuracy of the build order. It has been known to occur. Cameras are coming along a little faster. Recovered, recovered, sloppy boat recovered.
Okay. Overlord for the third. And we wait. It's not an 88. I keep thinking it's an 88. Setting that rally is pretty important. And Overlord. Reject. Over Overlord. Third Queen. Alright, our third base is late. We're getting pretty good up to there. Let's just check that last little section to make a mental note of where the third base comes in. Oh, we need to queue up the third queen. That's what needs to happen. We need to queue up the third queen. We have plenty of money to do it. We need to change the rally, which we didn't do this time. We need to queue up the third queen. Oh, because... Oh, yeah, these two drones here are probably supposed to go into here. Yep, queue up the third queen. And it's not quite, a, the expansion's pretty much at three. Yeah, so we have the expansion like right after we're putting, during the time we're kind of waiting for drones to put back in gas, in between that timing, that's the timing for the third base. goes to the second base. Nice. Plenty of time. Yeah, this new this new way is a uh, is definitely easier. next. And now we have a little waiting period with which we change the rally point. Jack attack. Cash. Now we're waiting in the home. 
position ready to go for some zerglings. And then back the drones. Cure up this queen, back the drones. This drone's going back in, this drone's an overlord. And then inject, inject, go to the third base. Two more drones in there, should be enough. Back to drones. Overlord. Third base. Three minutes is kind of okay. That's like acceptable. Inject, inject, overlord, queens. Creep. Okay. Whew. We're coming up on three minutes and 30 seconds, and we should get just about 75 gas for in time to get ga uh, Overlord Speed at 3.30. So Overlord Speed and Roach Warren is next. Let's go. Inject, inject, double overlord. I think double overlords now. Okay, it's already in there. And we are gonna oversaturate. Um oh, we need two more gas at four minutes. Layer. So the layer's a little bit late here. Evos. Oh no. Perfect. All the gases by five thirty. Okay. Well, we have not been spreading creep, but that's okay. Of all the things to mess up, that's not the thing to worry about. Speed. We built an extra queen. Oh dear. We're done with drones.
solution complete. Sequences spun, swarm mutated. Mutation complete. Oh, I guess I didn't get my fourth base. Okay. Oh. I made it really far without having to make a... Without making a big overlord mistake. All right, max supply, 821. Cool. This is the first time we've made it to the end of the build. A um, few little mistakes. The biggest mistake we made was our fourth base was late. Um, and then the other mistake we made is just a general Command not spreading the creep. But that's going to come when we have more attention to be spent elsewhere. We got him. <sighs> 821. Not bad. I think the timing is supposed to be 8 minutes, so I'm I'm very close to being right on the money with the Roach Max. And 63 drones? Should be 66. Expended. Don't know what happened there. I guess I built some structures after I was getting that stuff going on. I was off there. Sequences spun, huh. swarm mutated. All right. A little bit of uh, reveling in the glory of finishing the build. It was fun. It was good. Creeps rub is not good on the third base side. Whew. Okay, though. We made it. We made it. That was cool. We are... Crap. I don't know how much this... How long the session this morning was. An hour? Maybe it was an hour. So we're, we're like 12 hours in. About... Maybe a little over 12 hours in to learning the game. Not bad. We maxed out with a roach army in eight minutes with 12 hours of practice and zero mechanical skill uh, to start with. Yeah. That feels good. That feels good. Let's try it again.
I'm gonna do the pull. I need to pull here uh, to the close patch first and a slightly further away patch second. Whoops, I don't have that camera set up yet. Speaking of cameras, two, three, four, five, six, seven, in position. Got a lull. Got the lull. Take it in nice and easy. We're gonna build a bunch of lings, then queens, then pull up again. What the hell? Oh, we didn't build an overlord. Lings. Ah. Queens, pull off of the gas quickly. <gasps> when we're coming back here, we should be holding down the button. Yeah, that's going to be an improvement. Queen, go to the third, back to drones. What's up, Satori SE2? Welcome. Third drone. <laughs> Went to the wrong base. Inject, inject, build an overlord, build the drones, spread the creep. Oh shit, I forgot about the speed and the roach warren. Very important things. This is a dead overlord because I was 30 seconds late on my speed. This was a dead overlord because I just sent it to the wrong location. Two dead overlords. This build doesn't work with two dead overlords. Zero did overlords. That's how money we want. We're getting there, though. We're getting there. Repetition. You know the rest. Again. Third base, fourth base. What? No, 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 no. No. Okay. Okay. 
We recovered. A couple of errors there, but we were really able to recover. Before they cause any actual damage. here. We don't forget the lull comes after the overlord. And oh, I thought I'd fix that. Oh. This one. A little early. Kill the third queen. Attack the drones. We missed the 30 overlord there. Back to, oh, we need to send to the third. What's up, Ninja Re? I'm ready for team games if you want a team game. Or if you want some more time and just tune in, that's fine. I'll practice some more. Good either way. Okay. Okay, third's a little late. open Pandora's box of hotkey customization yeah it's easy to open swarm has evolved okay so now we want and one of these guys one overlord that's for the creep Four minutes, we take two gas. Evolution complete. And then we get Lair and Evos. Gas goes by 530. That should be it. For that. Should we put into gas? Oh, we also. 
also want to get speed, of course. And our fourth base. At about six minutes. Yes. Those are drones. Shit. Well. Oh, well. complete. Okay. Our first supply block came at 178 this time. Much better. Um... The creep thread is a little bit better. But certainly not stellar, I would say. Ooh, max out supply under eight minutes. Under eight minutes. Okay. Ninjury says, I discovered I can make keys dual use. Meaning Mineral that if held, exhausted. they do one thing. Mineral cluster and if hit, they do another thing. I don't know what to do with this information, as there are now a rather silly amount of possibilities. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. You're on your voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you have stream pack. You should. You do. Mineral field depleted. Dude, I just max roaches in under eight minutes. I feel like a god. <sighs> I have no calibration on whether that's good or bad, but it sounds good, so. Well, the build order says eight minutes is perfect, and I beat it, so. Oh, wow. <laughs> Feels <laughs> pretty feel good, man. Perfect. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah, so um, this whole du dual use of keys thing, man, I, I barely even begin can begin to comprehend how you might use that like you said like there's a tons of possibilities yeah i feel like it's pretty error prone though because like if you hold a key for too long then it changes what it's doing like what if you want to tap it yeah. in the circumstance and you hold it too long instead and it, and it counts it as a hold instead of a tap i think i can adjust how long I want that um, error margin to be. That is an extreme amount of customization. That's awesome. Yeah, the keyboard's a computer. <laughs> <laughs> it literally is its own computer. That's pretty. So it can do anything pretty. that a computer can do. <laughs> you just run um, StarCraft off your keyboard. You don't need a PC. Right. Just plug into a monitor with your it keyboard. Uses, you're good uh, to go. It uses Arduino. Yeah, you should definitely share your your keyboard in the in the chat for sure satori is interested oh yeah sure uh let me find it yeah i don't know i don't know have you run into anything where you had like an idea where you would use that functionality well i'm, I'm just trying to get around this control shift thing and was thinking like if I have another button that can be control and held like on my index finger um, yeah well I mean you can just double bind control right 
and you can put it pretty much wherever. And this functionality just means that you can put it in a new place, right? There are yeah. there are more options to where you can put this with your control. And I think that's the that's the correct way to do it in this situation because you want the shift to be shift. You want it to do what it normally does, but you also want to have the alternate set up so you can do the the egg hotkeying and such. Yeah. But yeah, I, yeah, put it on put it on your keyboard somewhere. Put another a control basically on your keyboard somewhere. Um, that isn't hit with my thumb. And isn't hit with the pinky and, and ring because those are going to select control groups. Yes, correct. You would want it on uh, the control group, one of the control group fingers. I mean the um, the Action. command. Yeah. Yeah, the command fingers. I said that backwards. Command fingers and commands that are never held. Because if it's a command that's held. Well, the problem works. is that all larva commands are held, and that's like the biggest command card. So. Are, are overlords held? I thought one of them was not. Overlords are held. Yep. Overlords How are held you because you want to hold the key while you're waiting for the larva to show up so you can get the overlord right away. Okay. But if you have like a billion larvae, you're not going to. You won't want to make. You yeah, if your mechanics are correct, you yeah, you, you, if you run to a supply block, you hold the overlord key and you say sorry to the gods of macro, <laughs> you know. Uh, but <laughs> otherwise, yeah, if you're macroing properly, you're good to go. What, I don't understand what you mean about holding it when you're waiting for the larva to pop. Uh, so because select larva and overlord are bound to the same key, so you have tons of mm -hmm. select larva alternates. Yep. The, the main reason for that is you want to be able to build something as soon as you have the larva. Sometimes you have the right. money before you have the larva, and that happens in the beginning uh, quite a bit with drones and with overlords. So. Oh, I follow now. Okay. Yeah, you just hold it down, instantly get the overlord, and that means that your scouting is going to be super crisp as well because the overlord will be super on time, which can save it uh, from getting hunted down by marines and stuff. So it actually can be the pinky and ring if it's both of them. If I use the ring, the ring is control for any pinky control group, and then the pinky is control for any ring control group. You could do that. I feel like the overhead for learning that system would be very high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at, this, at this point, the, the mouse might just be better. Um. Yeah, but isn't the simpler thing to put it like on the index somewhere? Didn't we just say that we can't do it on the index because larva? Um, you'd have to put it outside. Oh yeah, I guess then you're reaching. I also don't have an outside. Oh, I I barely oh have yeah. <laughs> I forgot your special keyboard. You're very. You don't have. Well, because we don't really use in six right now. We don't use backspace or backslash at the moment. So you could use one of those if you have those available. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I have fourteen keys, which includes like slash, what you would call slash. Oh god. Um for for commands. Oh, fourteen keys for commands? Yeah, yeah, you only need eleven, I think. Eleven or twelve. Oh really? Yeah, the starport's twelve and the larva's eleven, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, larva's eleven. I thought the SCV had a whole bunch. No. No. Oh, no, I'm thinking of the, the building cards. Yeah, the building cards only get up to eight. No. Yeah, it's really the, the, the real annoying parts of hotkey design are the infester, the starport, and the larva hatchery overlap. Those are the three. Like, that's where you're pushing the edge of how many keys you have. Right, okay. Hmm. Oh, I love this from Half a Ninja. Oh, gods of macro. I'm putting it in. Please forgive this sinful player, for he has forgotten to make a living balloons, and his balls are being busted by Kerrigan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Except in this case, I have the Abathur voice pack, so Abathur busts my balls, and he tells me that I'm terrible. So I just shut him off. I just mute him. <laughs> Cancel culture is alive and well in StarCraft, too. <laughs> People say things I don't like. I just I just mute them. 
<laughs> Don't talk to me. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna run the build again. Here we go. Ho oh, ho, that recovery though. Oh god. I lost the cancel key. <laughs> what a disaster. <laughs> I was just pressing all kinds of keys except seven. It's far away. <laughs> I think, um... When I get on full salary at Sunspear, I will be buying one of these keyboards as a present <laughs> of celebration. <laughs> we do it again. Again. And again. Do you know when that would be? Maybe February. Maybe February. Sorry? Oh, nice. That's pretty soon. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Always, always, lots of maybes floating around in the world of startups, but yeah, it's a pretty close. It's one of the better maybes that we've had so far. Higher percentage chance. I'm still trying to cancel with slash. <laughs> oh no, you go here. Ooh. Oh, 200 minerals, so good. Yes. Awesome. Nailed it. Gas you go. And hold the overlord button. Excellent. Reset the rally. Ready for Zergling and Queen production. Be prepared. And now. Oh, yes. All right. Got him. Set up and the third base is ready to be built. Back to drones, Overlord. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is all yes all the way. Shit. Perfect, perfect. Swarm has evolved. All right, now we need our Overlord Speed and Roach Warren. Four minutes, we take our gases. And we get a layer. And we get a couple of evos. Evolution What's complete. This? base I probably won't be able to play during lunch, but I will be free this evening in town. Cool. Right, I'm gonna go back, get back to work. Cool. And uh, I will speak to you later. See you later. Is spun, swarm, mutated. Supply blocked, 146. Of all the supply blocks that we've gotten so far, that's one of the not as not as terrible ones. We're gonna call it. Exhausted.
Although it should be popping soon. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. My one overlord short. No, I'm not. 827. All right, so that supply lock 146 hurt me pretty bad. Mineral cluster expended. It's a difference of like almost a minute because we were 20 seconds under. I think we were 30 seconds over this game. Mineral field but completed. overall, it's a pretty big win. Creep spare was much better. Creep spare was much better though. Posture right. Let me do the build again. Third base, fourth base, fifth base, fifth base. Made it. the overlord relax the overlord is on the way complete. Right, I 
that's definitely a dangerous way to do it. That's it. Command unacceptable. Acceptable. Evolution complete. Mutation complete. Command unacceptable. Under eight minutes. Oh, yeah. Mineral field exhausted. Mineral cluster expended. <sighs> it's intense first eight minutes. And I'm not even being harassed or attacked or anything yet. We should probably start playing 1v1 soon. Probably soon.
Mm. It would be best to do it on a new account. That's the that's the one thing. That would be the way to do it. But you can't play ladder right away on a new account. So I have to find one of my secondary accounts. That's what we'll do. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm going to put a video on. And while the video is playing, I'm going to be looking for one of my secondary accounts. <laughs> 